Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashem, El Shai Bashem, Kar Kadash. And the one of the Nyat Tawab, Aman. The one is to the old apostles of Great Millstone, citations to the elect, wherever you may be. Hopping straight into this, I'm just playing on key parts. As a matter of fact, I, I'll play the whole interview. <clears throat> At one point, yay. We hear, and this is all you. We hear, you know, Jesus is king. We hear this, but that's all you. Then there's sometimes you just want to say, man, not fuck it, but you just want to say, man, this is what I'm feeling right now. Are you in that space where you're comfortable enough to say, this is where I am right now. I'm still a man of God. I'm, Jesus still is king, but this is vultures right now. This is where I am. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put. <laughs> First off and foremost, that guy ain't going to show up because he doesn't exist. All right. Now, how about Shemel Shai is going to show up for the elect who were ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> but um, we're going to go more into this. <clears throat> my. Uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, a lot of times I just feel like in our society, in America, you know, people, Christians, we depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm going to pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself, too, more than just pray. And we're... Which, you know, on the flip side, all goes to uh, uh, faith and works, but that ain't the part I'm hitting on right now, right? So in this mentality, that's, that's all that needs to happen, but we ain't, we ain't praying our way out of prison mm -hmm. we ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics we ain't praying our way to get our land back that was always ours after gentrification after the harlem uh now in reality the elect is crying the sign for all those things all right and how about shimmy al shari is going to give uh, uh us the kingdom our original land back in rulership okay but it's more <laughs> it's more renaissance and black wall street was burned mm -hmm. to the ground them prayers ain't working. We're going we have to apply actual physical building partnerships. Hands and, it, and it don't start. No, listen, there ain't no building the black community no more. Listen, society's got to be destroyed. The Haobashi Melchior has to put Israel on top physically. That's the intervention that has to happen. And as soon as you Israelites get the picture, you understand what faith actually means, faith in works. Because he going to say something to her, and I'm going uh, to quote some scriptures. Unless we could really be real with each other and say, this is what I did, this is what I did. Like, I mean, look at this. I know I'm not going to third rail your interview, but look at the power of what happened when me and Kyrie was on the same page. See, that's what's scary. But what they do is they put us each in a... What it says when they uh, when they seen the two prophets rise, uh, great fear uh, came upon them. All right, what does wisdom of Solomon uh, say? All right, matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. Fifth chapter. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then should the righteous man stand in great boldness before the before the face of such had afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Which, that's what the prophets are doing right now. Alright? That's literally what we have been doing. Is going out, prophesying against Mount Seir. Alright? Uh, the kingdom of Babylon. Alright? The, uh, uh, the nation Edom, all right, and the downfall of Babylon the Great in the society, all right, telling you guys what's right, what's wrong, all right, the things that Esau has done to the true Israelites of the Bible, all right, 
Verse 2, when they see it, they should be troubled with the terrible fear and should be amazed with the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Because what's going to happen? All right, the elect of Israel is going to be what? Changed, beamed up into chariots. All right? So they know this, this fear is coming upon them because they, the, listen, the elites know. The elites know. Let me go back to this real quick. Asylum and say your grandmother gonna lose her crib and this gonna you know how I many threats we've been dealt dealt with and I didn't pray my way through them threats either. I had to get up and do it myself. I had so much to do, I ain't had time to pray. Mm -hmm. So that's where that's that's where my issue. Now scriptures say pray without ceasing. It's having prayer and faith. Alright. I get what he's saying because you do have certain, you know, these wacky, tacky Christians that just tell the people, just pray. Pray, 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 pray. Get your tithes, pray. Everything will be okay. All right? But in actuality, you know, your faith, your works, your prayers, fasting, all right? And first of all, following the how about you now shy, that's where it starts, having the fear of the Lord, Okay? Because the scriptures say, whoever, whom have ever believed it in me and called, and I did not answer. I, I believe that's in um, Sirach. Or is it in Second Ezra? And the other one is, because the, no, in Ezra it says, look at the generations of old, right? And the other one is, um, if you ask anything in my name, all right? No, no, you ain't about to be crying. I need you. Well, give me a manager tomorrow. You know, nigga shit, but man, the Lord be coming through, man. And can't no brother say otherwise, man. We all know the stories. All right, y'all about Shemel Shah really be coming through, man. And I, I'll leave it at that. Let me play some more of this. Do this and look where I'm at today. <laughs> all right. So, hey, man, and, and, and what did he say? Say, look what happened when me and Kyrie came to our part. Listen, when the rich man words, you know, Jake with money say some shit, and you know, the world black balls him. Oh, oh man, you're kind of shit. Probably's been out here for years. Tell me, Israelites, what's going on? But that, that, that's what it says. A poor man's words are despised, man. All right, and the hell with them. Hey, when that hey. The world's guilty now. Ain't no cloak. Y'all know who the Israelites is? Or you had enough sense to even uh, amuse the fact? What if those niggas right? Y'all ever thought that? Well, ain't a place where they're not called the children of Mosai. They, they should be called the children of the living power. All right, Yashar All right, and that's over here in Babylon the Great. What we're known as by words and proverbs, all right? Niggas, Latinos, whatever, man. African American, the names that are not our names. <clears throat> and with that, man, I pray this was satisfying. Shalom.